Father God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We thank you for bringing all of us here today. Father, we ask that anything that we say today or anything we do today, Father God, that will glorify your name. Amen. And let us have a good time. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. For some people that don't know why we're here, we are here to celebrate Dan Lola, my mommy lawyer. Is a girl? Is a girl? Is a girl? Is a girl? November, November 10th? November 10th, yes. So we have many fun things today to do. Um, so first of all, let's just, I just have one question for you. Just tell us about yourself. Don't, we're not gonna talk about your bride yet. Just tell us about yourself and why we're here and things like that. Just explain a little bit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, okay, my name is Dan Lola, my family. Um, first of all, before I start talking about myself, I'd like to say I'm really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I'm so nervous is because the last time I'm on the spot, <laughs> like this is on my 13th birthday. <laughs> and that's, honestly, that's the last time I'm in a spot like this. And that anybody will celebrate anything for me and that will be spot like on me. That's on my 13th birthday. No, so now, seeing everybody gather because of me, I'd like to say big, a big thank you to the King's Palace family. Thank you so much. So thank you so, 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 so much to everyone for coming. Thank you. I know it's not a vote of thanks yet, but <laughs> just it's the So my name is Dama Maibamle, I'm the drama minister, and I, I serve in the Zion Faith Ministry. Um, so that's, that's all about me, basically. I'm 28 years old. I'm 28, 28 years old. No, actually, I plan. Okay, I'm 29 years old, actually. <laughs> I'm on spot, so if I must stop, please. <laughs> okay, okay. 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 Next to him is his brother, best man, Joshua. Before we start, we're going to have a um, talk show where we're going to ask him questions and really dissect him, who he is. And um, so before we start that, we have some refreshments that we're going to go dig into first so your stomach is not growling while we get into the questions. So as we do that, there'll just be music playing and so you can help yourself to refreshment. Oh, daddy and mommy, yes. These are his parents, if, if you don't know. But mommy and daddy, you can help yourself first. Okay. Yes, we can pray on the food. Sorry, guys. See, I'm, I'm more nervous than the room, okay? Um, Joshua, can you pray for the food first? Heavenly Father, we uh, thank you for another day you've given to us. Thank you for the gathering and this evening and for the food you provided. We bless this food in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, you can go in. Yeah, so I said, um, the question was, what was, was the idea of um, my ideal woman? For me, it was someone who would compliment me um, in the area of my ministry, passion, purpose. Because it's really not, see, I, I think I was praying to, I'm praying to God, Father, I don't want to be a God because I, we really want someone who will walk together. The Bible says one church is a thousand, two churches ten thousand. And I think people want that ten thousand. <laughs> so that was that has been my mindset from the start. Okay. My second question is, how did you first meet your bride to be? How did you first meet her? Okay. Um, I like to tell narrate the whole story. <laughs> What's your name? Shahel. I will not I hope I won't take your time. But I like to narrate the whole story. Before then, it's okay, I met her at Mozilla Institute. I'm a lecturer in Mozilla Institute. 
So, I come first thing I want. You go first, first thing I want. You go first. So I came to lecture. I had, had a class there. So that was where I saw yeah, for the first time. But before that time, I've been in a relationship for four years. And for some reason, you know, I was telling you the reason I knew that someone that was completely in ministry and fashion, it was looking like as if I was forcing this person to be the will of God. I knew I heard something. I knew I heard. But I was like, so I was not getting to a point where I was forcing this sister to be the will of God. Why? Because it was like she has her own agenda, her own vision, her own passion. I have one. I didn't say it's not possible for them to work together, but for some reason there was no this there was no this purpose. There was no there was nothing joining us together. So it was looking so difficult for for there to be a synergy, you know. And it was really difficult. So it got to a point, after four years of medical rounding, and everything looking, let's, it's okay, let's come to this, let's sample together, let's go to this, let's do this. No, I have this, I have this, I have this thing now. So everything was looking like opposite. She, she's going this way, I'm going this way, and then I'm saying something. Can two work together? Exactly. Exactly. That was even the first passage that God gave me. Like, can two work together? When I was praying, what is happening? What's what happening? Because they can two work together except that we are saying, Father, I reject that scripture in Jesus' name. No, because I was too in love to just go like that. Then it got to a point that God spoke to that and said, If you really want to go far, you have to let this go. And that would be hot. And that broke me. I was, um, I was shedding tears. I can't let this go. No, 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 I can't let this go. You know? And God has to deal with me. I said, sometimes you have to let what is in your hand go before I give you what I want to give you. you know? So I just have to let that go. And as I let that go, when I, when I let that pass, and I, you know, we separated, that was then I was now praying. And as I was praying, I knew that the person God would have for me would be in the Zion Institute somewhere. Why? Because God gave me an explanation of Jacob and his wife. No, Isaac, Isaac and Rebecca. That was the passage that God gave me. And that was the first, particularly when um, Isaac, uh, Abraham told the servant, he said, Go to the well and kneel down. And, no, he said, Go to my father's house and pick a wife and my son. Go to my father's house. So I'm like, Ah, father's house, God. Where can be this father's house? You know, sometimes when you are desperately searching for something, you need to give invitations. He <laughs> said, Father's house must be in the so I've been praying about that. Then I got something in my passage. He said, Isaac was, Isaac's son, Abraham's servant, knelt down as a father, the woman who can serve me and serve these families that I'm carrying behind is the person. So I saw a bigger, like the weapon of the middle, you know. So I got to Mozambi City, I prayed the same prayer. I said, God, give me someone who can be of service to you. So that was when I came to lecture. And it happened that this person actually happened to be a weapon of evil. Mm. Serving people. Mm. So I came, I was intentional. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so she happened to be the weapon of evil. She, she, she served water, she, she was served and everything. And that was how it all started. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. It's not me, it's God. Bro. It's not me. <laughs> okay, so. Do you have any questions for him? Any direction? We can take it okay. north, south, west, well, any direction. Me, I'm not as spiritual as. Actually, it's the way I'm at it. The issue of marriage is not spiritual. You can't go to the house, it's coming. No, I just mean the direction of the question. <laughs> so, when you saw this, Rebecca. <laughs> Manuela, please. <laughs> Manuela, was there a instant attraction in her looks, or was it just a this is 
the woman I believe you are giving to me. So we'll move from there. Uh, I like that question. Um, this was what happened. I'm very quiet, but I have a good story. Before that time, um, I thought it was our institutions. A friend told me that somebody comes to was our institutions. Another person told me that someone comes from Mozambique Institute. So two different people told me that she was coming from Mozambique Institute. I had no idea what was going on. I've never seen that. So that was when I started studying. I think it's so before then, but I'm dealing with more this issue. I told you about it. So I went to Mozambique Institute to give a lecture, and I was lecturing, and she was sitting down. And as I was lecturing, I saw I knew she was the one that we were talking about. I knew she was the one we were talking about. I just knew. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with attraction. No, don't let the believers no. no. <laughs> <laughs> But that was how it was. I just saw I knew she was the one that talked about. But when I go to my daughter, I asked them, this question they are talking about, she talk, she likes, she you know, asked the question. Said yes, yes. Check it, check it. <laughs> yeah, so then I came I started thinking about it. I thought, oh, she's beautiful. And that's one thing. I thought I could have to that too, you know. So I started thinking about it, taking it serious. Because I know this is not about the music. There's something more about it. So it's not about the feelings. It's not about it. I've gotten to a point where I'm completely. What I've dealt with. Four years of complete of medical ranking. So I've gotten to a point where it's no more even an issue of I have feelings for her or I'm in love or this. But God is a good God, so He will bring something that is your eyes. So but for real, I've 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 really passed that that stage of something or something, making my heart go. <laughs> it's, it's way beyond all that now. So like, I, I took myself to the next relationship to ask to be spiritual, I asked to be more serious. But I cannot waste four years. And I'll come again, not because I'm having feelings for someone. Now it's not that four years again. You know? So that point I was like dealing, serious dealing with me. So it was a point I don't even want to ask to be you know? <laughs> I just, as I was really angry, you know, I was just not my I got to that point. So when I saw her, I want to be sure. And I was here with a skin and everything. And I played a part and I told him that. I just I wanted to carry it for the adult man. I said, okay, this sister. So, <laughs> I have to carry it like this sister. <laughs> I said, this sister that my dad won't have any connection. I'm feeling something. I said, I played a part I said, if you want, if you should want, go ahead. And no time. That's why I was like, God be the glory. Alright, so I have a question because I'm a I'm a lady. Yeah, so did you propose to your bride? Did you get down on one knee? Did you like how did you do it? Did you do it? Did you not do it? Actually Very unromantic. Actually I took us to class. And he saw that, you know, not talking, I asked me questions. I said, I want, I want to enter into a serious relationship with you, with marriage with you. She was shocked. Because I noticed that I had just one week there about, so what's, what's he talking about? So she was, brother, Alpha. <laughs> she was shocked. For me, I was gone. There's no time to waste. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I just asked, I just asked, and you know, I was like, hey, she went to pray about it. Then she moved to her dad, she called her dad the next day. Then she called her dad and said, this lecturer, this lecturer is asking me, I said, if you beat that school, come back home, now, 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 because the father could not believe that she sent his daughter to school, only, and she's the only girl in the family. So she sent the only girl to school, to Monsignor school, Monsignor school. <laughs> <laughs> But after a while, you know, 
after a while, she has said, yes, I did not pursue her before. <laughs> the audience will have time. We're going to ask questions. We will ask like two or three more questions and then we'll give it to the audience to ask questions. Do you have a question? How are you preparing for wedding day and after wedding day? After wedding day is more important than wedding day. But wedding day itself, I think we must prepare. <laughs> The uh, progression is because I'm not So, I'm just going to come in things are So, you have to press this. You want to What's one thing that you can say you admire about your fiance? It's one thing. That if anybody asks you, you'd be like, that's the one thing that caught my attention. So many things. But the one thing that I admire about Ella, that uh, he is his God. He is his God. Tell that to everything. I'll drop anything. I'm God is involved in this. No matter how hard that thing is. What's our typical that thing is? What's our hard typical that thing is? What God is there? So what what factor is there? Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I admire about. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, next question will be thinking post wedding, post marriage. Okay, question, thinking post. If you wake up in the morning, you and your wife, and she wants to kiss you, would you make her brush first? But after, you come back and give us the answer. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to open it up to everybody to ask questions. So, anybody have a question? Yes, I do. Oh, come on. The coach. Ah, why? Congratulations, Mr. Dan. Thank you, Mom. I'm so happy and proud of you. Knowing um, the kind of ministry that you're running, and that you will run. Being a man of God, there are great tendencies to inadvertently abandon your spouse. Remember I said inadvertently, you didn't find it. It's just the zeal of the work of God that consumes men of God. And they they're not doing it on purpose, at least the ones I'm close to that I know. What, um, let me say, prayerful preparation prevents poor performance. Prayerfully and preparatively. What are you going to put in place to avoid this? I want to say the generation where I married and your mom married, our endurance level is higher than this generation, whether we believe it or not. So it's going to be difficult for this generation to adapt to. I'm going to location, I'll see you in six weeks. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. What are the steps? And you have to make a living because you are a man of the house. So what are the things that you are thinking in your head, you are putting in place tentatively to say, okay, I have to, maybe we do Friday dates, maybe we do Saturday night out, you know, things that will keep your wife 
really close to you and you should not feel that I love. God bless you. Um, that's a very good question. Um, first is, God first, Calvin second, and Jesus Christ third. So in that order, that's, that's going to be the, the, the format for it. So it's going to be God, Jesus Christ, and family. Because so when that happens, it's going to be, God, there's going to be a clash between the ministry and the family. Because the pastor has seen so many examples of families suffering and ministry thriving. At the end of the day, one is always consuming the other. Mm -hmm. So and I've seen it, I've seen things like this. I'm growing up, I've seen so many examples, I've seen so many things. I have a friend who's also a minister's child, I do it with the now. And I told him I say, I'm going to be out. Jokingly, I told him I say I'm going to be a pastor's son. I said, I'm going to be a pastor one day. And like I see that abused him, he just fled up and said, No, no, no. I said it because that is the pastor. And jokingly, I said, ah, Daniel, I'm going to be a pastor. And he fled up, no, no, I don't want the pastor, no, no, no. And he kept saying no, no, and I shut it and shut it and bought it out of the glass. And you know, things like this make me realize something wrong because the order has been disrupted. So one of the things I'm going to do is to be very intentional. Intentional about what I do. To intentionally create time for my family. And that I will not have learned a lot of that from my dad. I was intentional. So I've also tried God helping me. Taste the gifts of God actually. I'm intentional about creating time for my wife, my family, my children. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we need some from the younger people. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have uh -oh. maybe we we'll watch on the um, internet after this. Um, what was the, for sure, you are mommy, yeah, mommy's boy. Not in a bad way, just like you very close to mom. Because I've seen you uh, expressing your love public uh, about your mom, which is really good. What was the, the features that you saw to your future wife that is related with your mom. Because I too, by the, uh, once I will be married, I also want to look for things that my father looks like. You know what I mean? Like what was the, what was that little thing you know, when you saw it? So, oh, my mom also is like that. And uh, after you, before you answer, I have two booking, books that I want to recommend you for you, uh, specifically um, the five love language for you to learn, and for her is love and respect. So if you read those books, I think you will be good. I saw it and similar, similar characteristics. Similarity. Um, first of all, she's beautiful. <laughs> Amen. 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 Then she has, I said something earlier. The ability to give all to God. That character, I can't fit in everything. Like, if it is God, then let's go for it. If it is God, then let's give. Him is God in their soul. Those cards, so I can't tell you anything because I know I've seen a lot. I've seen the power of seeding. I've seen the power of giving. I've seen the power of the sacrificial life. And I said that phrase to her. She's glad that she can give her all. And this is two years in question. And I know that she can give. If it's God, she's willing to give. So I know how much, how giving, how seeding, how, how the sacrificial life takes she high. So that's I've you know, seen in her. I see that too also. So that is that Christ like that like that is like that. Yeah, I think it's key. And yeah, this is the question that my mom wanted to ask you. Um we all know that you're very popular and because you're 
like Bambalese, so, so like, how did you resist many ladies coming to you? That's a good question. First of all, God's grace. First of all, God's grace. And secondly, it's about, you know, there's something about those abiding in me. I'm not just jumping up and down, jumping everywhere. So that has really helped me. That has really cut off so many things. If I'm someone who is so, who likes to exploit, go out all the time, just be everywhere, just be up and down, you meet different kinds of people. Today you are here, tomorrow you are there, tomorrow you are there, tomorrow you are there. I'm the kind of person, person that likes to stay still and abide, just stay, stay, not relax. relax right? you know? I don't, so that, that, that really has not caught off a lot of, you know, you know, yeah. The advantage is something about the fear of God. The fear of God is to be in our know, So I think that, um, that also helps. So but those three factors really help me. Personally, you know, the grace of God is number one. I can't sacrifice it. I just abide in the state. You know, the fear of God. Praise the Lord. I'll say that um, from experience, the first few years of marriage is the years of great awakening. When both of you have entered and you have, you have, the lady is showing some of the things you didn't see and you are showing some of the things in your life that she didn't see. And I know a lot of couples, they don't settle matters before they sleep. They let it prolong. And at the end of the day, it causes, it, it, it causes a lot of problems that they now need counseling for. I want to ask you, now that I know you prayed before going into this marriage, when you have a misunderstanding with your wife, because surely it will come. If he comes, how do you intend to take care of it as the head of the family? Do you want to be the one right and want to make your, your wife be the person that is wrong and drag it? Or how do you intend to solve it so that it doesn't prolong it? Praise the Lord. Communication is strong we are really looking to. In fact, that's one thing I've been praying to God to help me, but I don't really talk much. <laughs> but communication is, I think, is key. Expressive communication, constructive communication. Um, other areas of unity. You will not always be right all the time, even as a head of the family. And sometimes we are seen in one direction, but she's also seen in another direction. So I think community helps you to realize that let me put this one direction aside for let's see this direction and see what I can help out. So I think those two of you guys will help. So I'll just say that I agree with what Pastor Ali said. Um, and I think
they let their flesh take over, and that's when you have quarrel. And then last thing I'll say is uh, there's a minister of God that I highly respect. He said, when you have two hands, you know, when you have two hands, you can uh, you can make noise, you know. But if one hand goes away, there's no noise. So even if one person dies to themselves and refuses to, you know, quarrel or allow the flesh to arise, there will be and I believe honeymoon is a time for the both of them to go away from every distraction and be with each other. First and foremost, to rest from every stress of the wedding and also to be with each other. At least to get intimate for the first time. Nobody wants to be disturbed at that time. And I'm telling you, it's not the time to take your parents' call. It's not the time to set the budget for the family. And it's not the time to tell your wife that she should respect your mom or your dad. It's all about both of you. And I think it's a time for you people to really, really rest. Also pray as well to yeah, hand your marriage over to God, finally, now that you're together. And maybe when after the honeymoon you get home, you can continue all of that things. Hallelujah. Okay, any other mommies? Yes, this is just honeymoon. Just honeymoon right now. It's just to compliment a bit that uh, Ms. Uh, Sister Buki was talking about how you guys discover each other. And, um, you know, and it's, it's okay for Dami to tell Mrs. Bami Loi, what at the future, whatever it is, okay? Because you cannot, like, I heard this, blessed is the man who is not um, expecting because he would not be disappointed, okay? So if she doesn't know that when they touch you at the back of your neck, maybe that makes you happy, then let her know because she keeps touching on my feet. Inside yourself, she keeps touching them like I don't like that. And it's just tell her, I don't like when you touch my feet. I prefer you touch my head and communicate and try to discover that from her as well. Because, and she might be shy, ask. Is this nothing wrong in asking? And I know when you guys go, when you go, we're still gonna have it's a month from now. You might have time to see her. I don't know, maybe it's so stressful. Those are things that, you know, have to be free. Or else, um, not everybody would just wait for things to happen automatically. Ask or, you know, tell her. So that way, um, you're not just expecting something and she's just looking at you and tell her what to do or, you know, yeah. We have time for one more, one more lady, one more woman. Honeymoon. Honeymoon is the first time you and I are going to be all by yourself. And we are used to waking up, seeing Mrs. Bamiloye, one point, what is 1.2 or 101, senior, do some things. She is not Mrs. Gloria Bamiloy. She is Emanuela Bamiloy. There is no comparison. They can have features that look alike. You can see your mother in her to some extent. But she's not your mom. She's never going to behave exactly like your mom. So don't wish that in your mind. And don't take that to your honeymoon or your marriage. Because especially boys that are close to mothers, and I have them, they tend to look for their mother and their wife. Okay, you have seen your mother's maybe character like,
but she still has some character that does not equate your mom. Never ever say you didn't cook like my mom, you didn't clean like my mom. She's not your mom. She's your wife. Learn to appreciate who she is, even during honeymoon. If she doesn't do things the way you're used to during honeymoon, you know, during honeymoon, you guys are trying to avoid a lot of mess that you will know eventually, pressing toothpaste, doing this, doing that. Those ones you try to avoid. But she may not do it the way you are brought up. So keep your mind open in order to fall in love. Right now you are in love, but you will later fall in love. Really, really in love. And unless you open up and allow her to be Emmanuel, then falling in love might be tough. The Lord will give you the grace. Amen. All right. We are moving on to um, words of wisdom from the elders. So we will probably start with Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Aiden and Pastor Andrew. Let's we'll start with them. Yes. Yeah. I just want to add a question for Danny again. I, I know you mentioned this uh, even today, uh, maybe when you told me about Manuela. But I just want to confirm again is she the only child or the only girl? She's the only girl. She has, she has three, brothers. Okay. She has three other brothers. All right. I'm going to do this from the reverse side. I tell you, there's a whole lot of pressure on anyone that is an only girl or an only boy. Um, in my family, I was the only boy. I had five sisters. One of them is here. They were tormentors. I'm telling you, she's, she's, she's right there. She's, she's right there. What I, mean, what I mean by that is this. I mean, their brother is their brother. You know, they... They want to, as much as possible, yield a whole lot of influence on that particular person. And um, what I want to say is that you have to be patient, patient, because it's going to come. There's no two ways about it. In fact, the father, the mother, the brother, all of everybody, everybody, because they've always known her as the only girl in the family, and everybody loves her. In fact, if you are a boy, it's a lot easier than when you think she's a girl. <laughs> because they feel uh, maybe she's a weaker person now. Don't get me wrong now, ladies, but what I mean by that is that she's a girl. And she's almost like the darling of the family. She's like the precious one of the family, the egg of the family, the queen, just all, you can see the names are coming out there. You know, so there's going to be that pressure. And I want to say that. As much as possible, you need to be patient as much as and understand the side where they are coming from. You know what? Love them, be open to maybe their own desires to be close to their sister or their child. You know, but that does not mean that obviously they should become overtly, you know, yeah. uh, overbearing and influential in her life. That would become a problem, a problem altogether. But as much as possible, be accommodating. That's the, that's the word I'm trying to look for now. And as much as possible, understand with her. Because even her will be put under pressure. As now, oh, I have a husband, and then I have this family that I've known all my life. How do I manage the two? You know, and it will help her a lot if you are the person who is understanding, who is counseling, who is even helping her out in those situations and not add to her pressure. You understand? I'm not saying you're not going to play your role as the husband and expect her to be there for you and all of all that. But it will help her a lot. If you are already in the aspect of understanding with, with her that, okay, this pressure will be there. And then I like, can cope with it together. Praise the Lord. Um, the first thing I'm going to say is because um, I'm old school. 
and also I learn from people behind me and I use it to train my children also. That is the first thing I'm going to tell you, your first point. <coughs> you have to put something in place. You see, you and Joshua and your sister very close. When you marry, you have to put something in place that nothing separates three of you. No woman will come in and say, Josh can't come to our house. Oh, why are you sit angry with Josh? Oh, this or that is coming to us too much. I've said it to my children too, when my first son is getting married. I called the wife. I said, my mother said something to me. We are six and the first one. She said, do not let any man come to your life and separate you and your brothers and your sister. And he said something, he said, I'm going to say the word. If anybody come and separate my children, someone will separate their own children too. And I said it to my son and his wife. I said, I have four. You can't come and separate my children. If you come in, you have to join together, love each other, work together, because you, Dami and Dara, I mean, you and George and Dara, you grow together, you are on location together, you travel together. A girl cannot come and say, oh, wait, we have to go this way. We have to go this way. And you have to lead and do that. You have to set the pace. Second one, now you are a drama minister. When I also marry my wife, I said something to her. I said, look at this. I play soccer from the youth. My parents woke me not to play soccer, <laughs> but I still play soccer because that's the talent God gave to me. I did not take against my parents because they don't know until they see me playing all over, playing for Nigeria, do this, do that. Then one day, they are in Europe with me and they check in our results. If we win, we go this. I said, ah, that when I was young, used to beat me. He said, it's an igno ignorance because I wanted to go to school. I don't want to get a dropout. Then I said, From, I already forgive because I know you don't know. So I said to my wife, I said, one thing you can change. You can change everything in me. There is one thing you cannot change. Soccer. soccer. If I'm going to soccer, please don't try to tell me not to go. If you said it, if you tell me not to go, I will get upset, I will get mad, you don't like me. We started jokingly, but I said, I mean it. And she tried not to do that. Every other thing she changed me. But soccer, because that's my passion, I will not be happy. And I will let her know up front. And that's what you need to do too. Because you, you're going to get married now. Maybe she's a drama minister too. I don't know. Okay, she is. But maybe on the way, going up, she might not like it again like you do. But she don't want her influence to say, listen, today I don't want to go to location. We have children. I want to do this. But you have to do it because that's your passion, that's what you brought into, and that's your God-given talent. So, but you have to let her know from now, not when you marry. That means you have to start telling her, this me, this way I can take, this way I can go far, but this you can change, but this, please don't try. When you start saying that, that will make your marriage be very fruitful. Thank you very much. Any other words before we give it to Pastor? We have, we have two more. We've had two men. Let's take one elderly woman. Okay. One elderly woman. There's only young women in the room. The first young woman. Praise the Lord. What are we like? Elders of words of wisdom. Is it to you or to your wife now? Try and listen to one another. Very important. Somebody talk about communication. Very important. When she wants to talk, ask the Holy Spirit to give you grace to listen. <laughs> grace to listen, because not everybody likes to listen. Grace to listen, and wisdom to respond. Very important. Grace to listen, wisdom to respond. 
And like that, uh, Mr. Green just said, that was so awesome. That if you know, the Holy Spirit abides in, in, with you, there will be correct. That is true. That is. But the thing is that we allow our flesh to take over us. Make sure you all pray together, you fellowship together, you share the word together. Very important. And like Sister Celeste said, very importantly, if you don't like something, let your communicate it. Communicate it. If you don't like, don't try to hold anything within. Just communicate to your wife. Some men don't like to communicate. But you, God will give you the grace to communicate to your wife. And the Lord will perfect everything that concerns the of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Finally, anybody else before Pastor goes? One more. Uncle Rex. Praise the Lord. Okay, this is actually for Ella. Okay, and I know she will see this video. Um, you know, I cherish the grace of God upon on Gloria a whole lot, and um, it takes that sense of spirituality to manage Christian drama. The, the place the Lord is taking you to, and both of you, is a place you have not even seen a glimpse of yet. What your parents have done, you are going to do over a thousand of it. So, she has to, Ella, you have to be very, very prayerful very supportive. There are things you won't understand now, but you will understand them eventually. The strides you are taking and the step you are taking, even at this age to be a full-time drama minister, is very, very strange. It's going to be very strange to the whole world. They will wonder, what is he thinking in drama? You don't, you don't take that, you don't take offering. How much? There's no money from the movies. But the faith that has brought Mount Zion Faith Ministry, your dad, your mom to this point, greater faith will take you to a greater life. For Ella, you need a lot of patience, a lot of prayer to be there and to be the strong support. Because without you being one together in the home, it's going to be very, very difficult. So when things are confusing, pray. When they are clear, pray. When you cannot see, pray. Whatever it is, just pray and trust the wisdom of God that the Lord is going to grant your husband. And the Lord will bless your home. Amen. Okay, finally we'll have Pastor speak. Let me have a little surprise for you before. What a surprise. I want to do that now before. Okay. Um, but again, thank you very much for everyone coming out. I know we're in church on Sunday in the morning, in the afternoon. Yesterday was Bible study. I truly appreciate every one of you coming out here uh, to celebrate our son and our brother uh, on this very special occasion. Daddy, mommy, we congratulate you. The joy will last forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, well, I think there are just two things that I believe is important. Um, if a man is growing in the Lord and the wife is not growing at the same pace, the day the man falls, it is where the wife is that is going to fall to. Now, if you are at number 10 and your wife is at 10 or 9, she's always able to make sure this man is not going down anywhere. What I've noticed even in pastoral ministry is that the man is growing his, but the wife is, 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 is low down there. Your greatest intercessor <laughs> is your wife. Now, if she doesn't know how to, then that's a problem. So as you are growing, don't leave her. Don't say, what well, I'm trying. She doesn't want to. Some men say that. 
It is the man's responsibility. Because he's the priest of the house. And that includes the children. Because if husband and wife, the parents are growing, and the children are behind, again, they come back uh, to buy. So, grow together. We're going for conference, we're learning together. Morning devotion, we're doing together. That's very important. Then, I think the second one. <laughs> I know we have the Holy Spirit. And I know we are filled with the Spirit. But even with all of that, there will always be moments of disagreement. You know, even when the Spirit is full to the brim. <laughs> <laughs> The senior apostles say, Separate unto me, Paul and Barnabas, the work that I've <laughs> assigned for them to do. Hands were laid on them, and they were full, filled. But, you know, Barnabas thought, Your mark should come along. They are still in the spirit. And <laughs> Uh, Paul said, uh, uh, the last time we traveled, this guy disappeared. No, 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 he's not going anywhere. And the Bible says, really, that the contention was so stiff between them. But you know, I thought I was to Paul, the apron. <laughs> and from him, he was even to see. But he, uh, I disagreed. The contention was so stiff that they even had to. Well, now, when there is disagreement, because he will come, because we are, we are different. But our personalities are always going to be different. One rule you must set now, if you don't always have, if you don't have it yet, that there is no disagreement that will go overnight. God has helped us. <laughs> If it happens one way or the other, either somebody you say, uh, uh, you know, and the night can be better than we had planned before, mm. just because we are determined. Now, even if it was a patch up that night, when you then wake up, because we are not sleeping in different places, and some people we have disagreements, okay, I go sleep somewhere, you sleep somewhere. The thing in the morning is gotten bigger. If you leave it, Two days, it's gotten even worse. So make a rule. And whatever happens, we have disagreement, we will not go to bed without resolving it. If that becomes a rule, you find out that whether it's a small disagreement, whether it's a, you are always to make sure, you know, it does not escalate. We pray for you, we can talk. Talk and talk, but the Spirit of God, you know, helps us, you know, as we go. We pray for you that the Lord will, will keep you, will keep Ella. Uh, it doesn't matter how that they are, how greater that their money becomes, you will become greater. Amen. With your wife in the name of Jesus. Amen. We congratulate you once again. God bless you. Amen. Okay, we have a little surprise for you. To watch on the screen. Yeah, just a second. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I know most of us have been wondering where is this bride? Um, what do we have to do? Ella sent a video message to everybody, and we're going to play it now.
with our daddy and mommy Tunde and Chade Bajo, past and past and Mrs. Nandi, Uncle Rex and Auntie Lola, daddy coach and mommy coach, and the entire family of Kings of RCG, Kings Palace, Katie Texas. I'm so grateful. I don't have words to say how grateful I am, but I'm so loved. I'm so grateful. I thank you very much for everything you have done, you are doing. I have heard so much about you and I'm looking forward to seeing you all one day. Um, I pray that God will bless you, God will strengthen you, God's grace will be multiplied upon your life. Thank you so much. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's clap for her one more time. Isn't she so beautiful? We give God all the glory. To make it to Nigeria. If you are able to make it to Nigeria, I'm sure you are going to you know, do one gift or the other. Uh, if you are willing, you know, and you are desirous, and you are able, and you want to, it's a good opportunity today. Uh, it's a check you want to write, just write down all of my family. If it's something you have brought, maybe you have brought him a new Bible or something. You know, whatever it is at all that you will be willing to, it will be a good, um, it will be a good time uh, to do so. If you don't have to spell that, my daughter is D A M I L O L A. I think my family lawyer is easy. You've seen that for a long time. You know, and the Lord definitely will bless you. And I can assure you of that. Um, I will hand over to Daddy and Mommy once, once they have you know, shared briefly. Then we'll all pray you know, for Daddy you know, um, as the Hey, draws near and near. Um, so, hand over to that. Just uh, say anything. <laughs> say something. Say something. Say something. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate everybody for today, for honoring our brother. <laughs> <laughs> we are so happy and we are so grateful. The Lord will honor us all in Jesus' name. And I thank God for all the words that has been coming out to that I'm so happy because all those words are very powerful and timely. Because I know he's still learning. And I want to believe he has had everything and God will give him the grace to make use of them in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to emphasize that aspect of communication. That means that is a quiet time. You can be in the room without you knowing. There was a day we were in the car with this girl. We were not following us. We were going somewhere. And the girl was in the car with us. And that means sat beside her. We were there to show her. So the girl was said to talk. She was just bumping and talking. And when you say, oh, oh. And I was laughing. I said, hey, no, no, no. Like, he was so bored. And this two week to Ella is a lively person. She loved talking and joking. You know. And my boy was saying, oh, oh. Till we get to Ella, where would I say, can you now see? Begin to talk. <laughs> if you don't want you hope to be boring for this girl. So I really, so I appreciate. I really love it when moments were just emphasizing that point, as if they knew our brother. <laughs> Communication. Every lady wants to talk. I don't. It may not be every lady, but some people just want to talk. She loves to go her house. In fact, yesterday, two days ago, when he called, that was so tired. He called her, and I now said, "You are not talking to her again." Said he wanted to be. I said, let me talk to her. Ella slept. She woke up and said, hey, she called me and he didn't he, 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 he did talk again. <laughs> I said, I mean, leave what to do. Take time to talk to that girl. So it's very, very important. Please involve her. Communicate. Discuss. Even 
even when you don't have anything to say, and she's the one talking. <laughs> say something. Say something to encourage her. And I know we help you. And then what else? That means. So I, I just, that means, that means has a very, he, he loves people. People love him. And I, I can see that in him. So don't stop. The nature, because every lady wants to be loved. I see that, that nature in him. Anywhere we travel, anywhere because we have been traveling together to Australia, to you see people asking, oh, those mama like, what we call shoes to do? That means has so many mamas around the world. <laughs> because they would just want him. Everybody would be calling him, that means my son, my son, my son. That was very why she have it. One woman has a room for Damilola. They come and see the room of my boy. This is the room of Damilola. I was telling him that was not there. Though. So please keep that nature. That is the nature of God. Love these girls. Mommy says something. I don't need to compare it to your mom. I know I'm so I have that nature too. Lively, just I just love, I just want to talk. Joshua took that. I mean, take that from me as well. But that and that, you have to say. <laughs> so please, you have you have that love that the way you carry people, that nature God has given you to love so. Even when you don't surely talk, but you can say that. You see that nature in you. So help this girl. Keep loving her. She will make mistake, oh, I told you. She has, she's not a full Yoruba girl. She's from Bini and this. So we are different in some cases. And you too know. So she will make this mistake. You have to study her. You have to endure. You know, all our mothers have said for oh. You have to endure. Don't say you will not fight. That girl said, when you get yours, ah, you will still see. <laughs> see you, because we are human beings. And we are from different backgrounds. Not that we are not filled with the Holy Spirit. Come, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I thank God for the example that he gave of Barnabas and Paul. Oh, um, is it not Barnabas? And Paul. We saw that I and this man. We used to have, it's only because we don't see it too. Inside the room, we said to it here. So there will be misunderstanding. There are things she will not want you to do. And you want to come. In fact, before we submit that hand, don't quarrel. Is that the only Why are you quarreling? Keep calm. But first of all, question, something like that will come up. But Damilola, know how to keep your temper. You know? Keep your good temper. You know, that means giving you your times. But know how to keep your temper. <laughs> I, <laughs> I know my boy. He wants that thing. But just keep calm. I told you, just leave her in your Let her have her. When you behave maturely and you are walking in the spirit, every woman wants to follow a man who knows his God. If you don't behave maturely in the Lord, you are messing up, you are jumping, you are up, up and up. They begin to die. Is this man me where he's going? Mm. So move close to God to pour his nature into you. When you when you have spiritually sound, this girl will be able to listen mm -hmm. to your counsel, to your advice. And when she's missing it, she will still come down and submit that God is talking through this man. So you'll be more spiritual. Know the guy, know this girl. She loves the Lord. It's ready to do anything for the Lord. But you must still be ahead of her. It's only spiritually, so that she will learn to submit and to respect you. Amen. The Lord will help you, Jesus. Amen. I don't know much to say, much to say to because a lot of words have been said, and they are very, very critical words. Great advice. And I'm so grateful unto God for an evening like this, because I am not sure that there is a major preparation for the bachelor's in Nigeria. No, no. So I think this is the official bachelor's in the There is there is no preparation, there's no major preparation for anyone in Nigeria. This is the case. So in fact it's a great promotion for them that you went in Nigeria, your bachelor's in this year. And the words that have come are critical words. 
very, very words of my books that um, I trust that the Lord will help David to keep these words. Some of the words will be very hard, some of the words will be very hard, but this is the words we need now. It, it, um, and this is the time that people can gather around you and talk. After, after marriage, it, it, it shouldn't happen. People will not gather to talk to you. No. So this is the best time. And the words that come out as very really practical words. So I want to appreciate the, our, our fathers and our mothers for the schedule. The schedule is still for them to come. And the uh, wonderful singles, brothers and sisters. Looking up to God for wonderful times like this in Jesus' name. Now, I, I only, one word I want to just add to what has been said to Dami is that, uh, Dami, you know, you know, you know that I know that. <laughs> and, uh, you can't sit down do nothing. It's impossible for you. So even the house will give us to go and stay. Let me still find a short film to go. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy. I don't know what to do. It, 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 that was a, it was a, it was a collaboration group between him, Rarex and uh, <laughs> and uh, yes, but but, uh, <laughs> He said I want to bring one prop. I don't want to use prop for that. He said it was a short. So, short? You want to put light? There's no light. Just the light of the house. I don't want to shoot anything. Yeah, I said, Buna, and that is told us to come and read. Don't go to shoot. Don't go to shoot beside us here again. I don't go to shoot. But that, 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 he said, very short. That is just a very small one. I went to see the room. I told him, I said, he's not doing anything. Ah, he's not doing anything. Oh, ah, in this place, he's not going to do anything. I went to the side and I said, okay. He said, it's a very small one. I just allow him to bless. Let's see why he's seen my church. I look at this country. Right. Right. And the next day, we got to hear a noise. Hey, oh, So we just said, the last day, what did you do when I started the church? <laughs> <laughs> and they finished it within a very short time, they finished it. I knew it was going to bless life. I thank God for that. But the, uh, the, uh, the advice that they have given you. Don't go and shoot short film in London. Don't go and shoot short film in London. Don't go and shoot short film in London. Don't go and shoot Take snaps, no. No camera is to sack it back. No camera is to don't and then please. The, don't say you want to write short movies. Your laptop is not going, I write any scripts. The only scripts you have they are not writing any short scripts, no short movie, no laptop, no 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 phone. And thank God, sir. Thank you very much, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, we are about to pray, but, um, you know, that, that there's a way God, you know, does this thing that sometimes, not sometimes, I don't even understand it. You find somebody that can talk a lot, like yeah. Sister Omi, for example. <laughs> Getting married to someone who can't talk at all, like good. Because as some first time you say, are you not gonna talk, say something? Say, what I want to do, you said everything. <laughs> what do you want me to yeah, say so now? Yeah, as when we was talking, I was just thinking of it. What you done to this thing like this? After that, you say, want to say something? Yeah. Say, what I want to say. <laughs> This is as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's very difficult to you know, suddenly don't even really talk when you don't, when you're not wired. But it's also strange to be able to listen. Now, women also like some of the things. Sometimes what people don't have to talk to, they have to listen. 
blessings of the Lord will be evident. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. When Dan was sharing, I think in the course of last weekend, I can't remember at which one, okay, somebody said that now, okay, I remember that a ministry member came to him that now that you are married, it's, it's now that your ministry has I want us to pray for Dan. This marriage we commission a new beginning. Yeah. Let us pray. Yeah. A new beginning. A new beginning of enlargement, of expansion, of fruitfulness, of promotion. Clear our vision. Let's pray for Ella, that the Almighty God may give her everything that she needs. Be a virtuous woman. To be a true helpmeet. Let's pray for her that God nature will come from her womb. Let's pray that their home will be blessed together. Let's pray that the love that has brought them together, that love will get better and better. Let's pray that the wine will never run out. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Please allow us to close this prayer like this. I will want uh, mommy to Mommy will pray, my wife will pray, daddy will pray, I will pray the four of us. We pray, just speaking into the mic. We start with my wife, and then you know, I will pray, mommy will pray, and daddy will pray. Then sing my soul.
technology did not go ahead of us. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. In fact, the Bible says that when God blesses, no man can curse. Yes. Every blessing that shall be pronounced unto you, did, it shall be amen in the mighty name of yes. Jesus. Yes. Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give all the glory to you. Because yeah. we know that their tomorrow is greater than yeah. today. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are not in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That the anointing of priesthood to leave your home Amen. come on you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever you decree concerning your home shall be established. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We bless you. Amen. And you are blessed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray that this beginning will be a new beginning of joy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever one couldn't do alone before, as we be joined together, you will accomplish and surpass in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for you that the ministry that God has committed to your hands as you get married, the Almighty God. We begin now to expand it in the name of Amen. Jesus. It is well with you Amen. and Emmanuel. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No one will be able to come in between the two. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we hand over that me to you. Perfect every man. The power and the wisdom of God. Amen. We do greater exploit. Amen. God raised you hope for this generation. Amen. Where your daddy seems to be right now, you will go before. Amen. You will be greater. Amen. Amen. Greater anointing. Amen. Amen. Greater power. Amen. You will grow in wisdom. Amen. You will walk in the fear and in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You will not fall down. Amen. Amen. You will not fall. Amen. The temptations of this world will not overcome. Amen. In this ministry of drama and fame, the Lord has brought you before you ever know what is going on. Go in before you ever come to this world. I remember that day when we were going to the church for town people after waiting. The Lord spoke to the pastor that has given us a boy. And the Lord revealed that this boy will do the work of his family. Mm -hmm. The anointing has been on you before you were even born. Mm -hmm. I say the devil will not destroy you. Amen. The host of darkness will not destroy you. Amen. You are one to enter into another phase yes. of greater anointing. I destroy every power, every manifestation of death, every agent of darkness that we want to rise against you. Amen. I said they will fall. Amen. The power that sustains you, Father, that power, that anointing will give you. Amen. That girl, God has brought it to you. Amen. She has a very good spirit. Amen. She will not be corrupted. Amen. She has been brought into your life to help you. Yes. She's a helper. Amen. What she has done baffled me. At times, the way she behaved baffled me. That this can be God only. I pray together you will fly. Amen. Together you will reach the top. Amen. You will not be separated. Amen. The mercy of God will preserve you. Amen. You will, you will give back to children that will not jump. Amen. Because this ministry is a continuity one. Amen. As you are taking it up, your children will take it up. Amen. God will establish you. Amen. Amen. He will bless you. Amen. Amen. Lord, you will grow in the Lord. Amen. You, you, you are the priest in that home. Amen. I release into your life the revelation of God. Amen. You will know God more than ever before. Amen. You will love God more than ever before. Amen. And you will walk in the fear of God. Amen. And together, you will fulfill the purpose of God. Amen. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. Give you all the glory. Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for what you have done today. 
as we present before you your son, Gabriela, O Jesus, we thank you for all the prophetic cultures that have come out and come forth upon his life. I pray everything that has been said directly from your throne be established in his life. Amen. In the of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus, I just pray that you will make him enter into the into your covenant of peace. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that you make him enter into your covenant of protection. Amen. Covenant of provision. Amen. Covenant of enlargement. Amen. Covenant of increase. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the hand of the Lord will keep you. Amen. The Lord will sustain you. Amen. That vision, that passion that God has built up in your heart, yes. that dream yes. that God has given unto you to be great in his, in his service, in establishing his counsel the moving ministry. I pray, Father, that we will enlarge it in his life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that we will become, we will grow. Amen. And be bigger. Amen. And, 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 and we, have, we have not gotten to. We will go far from Amen. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I pray for Ella also. That your hand will sustain her. Amen. We will increase her wisdom. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Congratulations. Amen.